very uh, functioning, good relationship in the sense, first of all, we are, became members of the Partnership for Peace with NATO uh, already during my time as a defense minister. So I was sitting there uh, in the NATO headquarters with the Russian uh, defense minister, Grachov, and, and I think it was Perry from United States and so on. Uh, and uh, the way we have been serving in uh, peacekeeping missions has been uh, now, unfortunately, mostly in the leadership of NATO, uh, because for me especially it feels as the only real mission is a UN mission, like we will start again here in the region with UNIFIL and uh, to, to become a part of it. But it has functioned in a very good way. We have uh, quite a lot of material that is in coordination with NATO material. Uh, perhaps the biggest purchase that was done was during my time when we bought uh, 62 fighters, uh, FA-18 Hornets from United States, renewed our fighter fleet. But I would also very much, and I take the chance here to, uh, to comment on my honorable members of the panel that it's extremely important for us, like uh, Marta Luis just said, that the leadership of defense is in civilian hands. It's a political leadership, not done by generals. Uh, the political leader is responsible to the parliament for what is done in the defense and what should be done. And that's something that is extremely important. And a last sentence on this also that was talked about here. Uh, for me, even if I made these, both these 62 fighters, much more important during my time as defense minister was to look to the well-being of our soldiers, our conscripts, and our staff serving in the defense ministry. I was furious about cases of sexual harassment and really made it known and uh, took steps. And uh, especially for the f physical and mental uh, well-being of the soldiers, I cared because uh, it's not the right place for everyone. And if you are, you are forced to, to just go through the military service, you perhaps can even get uh, problems for the rest of your life if that is not cared for. That goes, of course, for missions like Afghanistan, like in the Balkans, like everywhere, uh, when it's terrible all the time. But, um, it's uh, perhaps that is women like to care for just the well-being, but I think it's a real national security issue to have people who can take it and who are able to serve the country.